Hello my dear listeners my name is Kishor Ganesh and in this episode of the Vocal About Visuals podcast before i begin sharing my thoughts on the batman i want to start this episode by saying that i'm tired i am just too damn tired of horrid people becoming leaders and people allowing it to happen it happens in schools colleges offices local area councils towns cities states and countries Right now a madman is mercilessly murdering thousands of innocent people without any prior provocation and you would think that this would be a lesson to the entire world about the dangers and horrors of fanboying and fangirling over autocrats and their ilk and yet all over the world we continue to see people in democracies brazenly push their countries towards autocracy that said i truly hope and pray that these incidents produce a large number of people who have the potential to turn into champions of democracies and fight for the rights of all the people around the world even if the same people are deluded and experts at self sabotage pardon the slight break away from the norm of this pod where i almost exclusively talk about movies but i thought at this time this was necessary for myself if not for anybody else and with that i'm going to proceed to my thoughts on the epicness that is the batman firstly as mentioned in the title this is the non spoiler episode i will be doing a further spoiler filled episode so subscribe slash follow for that now a question might arise in your minds about the point of these episodes that are arriving so much later than the release of the film and to that i say it is really hard to juggle a podcast and a day job more than time it is finding the mental resources and motivation to put my thoughts on paper that is a bit taxing but i really do like sharing my thoughts with the world and when i think about the fact that there are people out there who are investing their valuable time listening to my podcast that is a major motivator so all i'm saying is i will try my level best to keep the flow of episodes at a regular cadence and with that out of the way let me head into the batman the batman my word what a film wow you see i'm a fan of batman my fandom for batman began because of the excellent animated movies and comics and not because of the batman of the live action world of course that changed for the first time thanks to mr nolan when i saw batman begins i realized that this is the batman i was waiting for for all these years and this movie is finally doing batman justice not just this the movie was centered around batman he was there in close to 90% of the film and as a quote unquote batman fan i enjoyed that and then we got to the dark knight easily one of the best movies of all time with arguably the best joker of all time but it didn't afford importance to the batman like the previous one did this is both a complaint and not a complaint but largely this is an observation and ditto with the dark knight rises which brings me to the current piece of epicness the batman matt reeves along with peter craig have sat down and written a batman movie that is one for the ages i would argue that this is the first movie since batman begins that wholesomely satisfies batman fans despite having a plethora of villains from batman's rogues gallery the focus is on the batman but not one person who watched the film could come back and say that this in fact made the villains or the supporting cast forgettable and to manage that kind of balance is a triumph of writing take a bow matt and peter more so than in other movies the performances have to be called out here let me start with paul dano man this guy can act in one of the scenes i could actually feel his unhingedness if that's even a word and he did it in a manner that was so dramatic that it almost felt like it was a performance from a play if such a performance would only add and elevate the film and not detract from it he somehow was the perfect riddler 
and my appreciation for his performance has only grown since the time I watched the film. Moving on to Mr. Jeffrey Wright as Lieutenant James Gordon. Phew. This man is an esteemed performer along with Mr. John Turturro. I'll get to Turturro in a bit, but he personified what I think Gordon would and should have been in my opinion. His performance has a swagger to it and in the film he and Batman are equals investigating a case instead of him being a bumbling police officer who is in over his head with Batman being his only hope for salvation. John Turturro as Carmine Falcone was magnificent in the way he brought menace to the setting. This guy is not a super villain. He doesn't have any superpowers and yet almost the whole of Gotham is firmly in his grip and lives in fear of the mob boss and his performance makes you believe these circumstances an unrecognizable colin farrell as oz aka the penguin is just living as the penguin exhibiting a variety of emotions from fear to rage to loathing to elation to many many more often in quick succession colin farrell has the presence to make you feel that he is going to bring gotham and batman a lot more pain in the near future fingers crossed on that andy circus as golem i mean alfred well you just can't think circus without golem can you anyways leaves an impact and as far as i was concerned despite his limited screen time i didn't think that the alfred character was let down by the script his role was limited in the scope of the film and it served its purpose and mr circus delivered the necessary performance for the role maybe the sequels will have him have a larger role to play moving on to catwoman zoe kravitz embodies the spirit and the physicality of catwoman down to the t she is she is not the supremely confident fully secure catwoman that she will eventually become yet and hence this role requires her to be vulnerable she is agile street smart and strong but that hasn't hit her core yet in this film it is more of a facade in a way she is faking it till she makes it and boy does zoe manage to communicate all of this through her performance despite her vulnerability catwoman is not looking at batman to be her savior nor does she stick around to be his sidekick they are allies when they need to be and after that well they have each got stuff to do man and when it comes to the romance if something is meant to happen and if there is time for it to happen then it will happen basically just two average super powered costume wearing vigilantes making the best of their respective situations and personally i'm rooting for more of a full fledged romance between these two in the sequels and finally let's talk about robert pattinson as batman dare i say it he is the best batman as far as i'm concerned michael keaton was before my time christian bale was a piece in the nolan universe it is robert pattinson who is the batman more than him belonging to the universe of gotham gotham is the setting for him to go about being batman and for me personally this difference in approach to the batman that matt reeves has taken here appeals more to the fan in me than the nolan universe so pattinson benefits from matt reeves's vision sure but that doesn't mean that he's slacking off he has worked on the look the voice and the performance to ensure that matt reeves's vision is brought to life the fact that the normally cruel world of the internet which was waiting to hit pattinson over the head with the mallet should anything have gone wrong with his performance hasn't done anything remotely close to that is testament to how convincing he was or rather is as the batman this batman is still learning the ropes of his calling which is to be the arch nemesis of evil in gotham he is still a vigilante in a costume who has to do the investigative grunt work to get the results rather than a mythical character whose reputation can quote and quote make things happen and it is quite evident that he has not been around too many women 
to top all of this this batman is not yet sure on how to be a good bruce wayne to play this character convincingly so that the outside world buys it the vulnerability the nervousness both in crime fighting and romance and the single minded focus on solving the mystery stopping the bad guys and saving gotham that is expected of a batman who is in year 2 of being the caped crusader is brought to life with a high degree of fidelity by patinson and i'm here for it on the whole the batman checks so many of the boxes that i personally look for in films a mystery a noir setting batman the rogues gallery a fledgling romance and a man trying to make a change in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles add to this what literally everyone else looks for in a movie like great writing great performances great soundtrack which is freaking magnificent special call out to michael jacino excellent production values and great directing we have a no brainer of a decision to make on whether to watch this or not don't think too much about it just go for it the batman is not just worth your time it is worthy of being one of the best of all time who also try and watch it in the theaters and if possible in imax once again my name is kishor ganesh this is the vocal about visuals podcast and thank you my dear listeners for your time and for listening and yes the spoiler filled episode will drop to but i think i will take my time to write it as i want to savor the recollection of the movie in my head post which i will put pen to paper in the meantime other episodes will continue to drop in this podcast so please subscribe on your preferred podcast platform and on youtube to the vocal about visuals channel thank you